Hello everyone, welcome to shop time. Last night we made a lot of sawdust over here with CNCing this sign here. has texture tool path first time i've ever done that it took a long time and then we did this recess here this is going to be a mural of a sunset and we've got the trees in the background and then there's a lake and the sunset there we're gonna paint it i think a bit of a rustic color first and then I'm thinking about just having these letters revealed just as the plain wood like this, so they'll stand out. Got the cottage sign, some white put on it, and I've got the silhouette already painted black. We're gonna do the sunset up here and then the reflection on the lake down here. We'll see how it goes. Start with some base colors in the background before we go to airbrushing. We use the big gun to do this. Just lay some heavy paint down. Change to some red, add some different fading, and then uh, we'll go to some blue for the water. Lay that down before we change to some airbrushing. Start laying in some other colors for the sunset. Keeping the gun dirty, just adding some purple there, changing the hue. Getting some detail work. Laying on some reflection on the water. Again, just adding a little bit of black, a little bit of purple. Just change those colors out a little bit. Make some gray in the gun for some cloud cover. Got a little fluff on there. The air compressor going in the background. Put some lighter gray in for some reflection on the water. Getting ready to do the shadows. Some black in the gun to do some shadows of the trees on the water line. Ran out of paint, so I had to mix up a little bit more. Make these shadows kind of ripply so that it looks like they're in the waves. Do some more blending, get ready to take the tape off. Put 
some fresh yellow back in the gun, get that sun shining, get some, do some blending. Now we're ready to take the tape off, reveal the silhouette. back over with some black to blend the transition line, do a few other little touch-ups. Alright, that was fun. I just showed it to my wife and she said that some of this red was just a little too blotchy, so I came in with a bit of orange and tried to, uh, to blend some stuff away. So I think that we have finally gotten it to how we want. Let's take this tape off. There we go, I think that turned out quite well with the old kind of aged wood look here, the hand chisel look here with the crisp lettering and then we've got our nice mural which matches, I'll post a picture of it, it's really close to what the actual view off their dock looks like. I think we nailed it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming by, hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please click the round icon to subscribe. And if you wanna see other videos in this series, click on the playlist shop time. Thank you.